In this episode of the Texas Tribune Weekend Insider, Governor Perry hits the road on a bus tour of Iowa. Ben Philpot and Jay Root are along for the ride. And reporter Julian Aguilar takes us on a different type of bus tour, this one from northern Mexico to Dallas with a group of truly dedicated Cowboys fans. What Rick Perry's going to do is he's going to hop on a giant bus and he's going to drive across the state meeting as many people as possible. This, this really honestly is the last chance for him. Uh, you know, a lot of people have said that he's best when his back is up is against the wall. What, what Perry's going to do is engage voters one-on-one. -on -one. This is the ground game. This old-fashioned bus tour, he starts out in a little town called Council Bluffs and he's gonna hit at least 40 cities. You go door to door, you go from town hall meeting to town hall meeting, you go from coffee shop to coffee shop and you just shake everyone's hand. Despite debate problems, despite uh, a few misstatements uh, on the campaign trail, he does really well in these one-on-one -on -one situations with you know a group of, of 50 to 100 people. Plan from the Perry perspective is do well in Iowa, well enough to keep going. He doesn't have to win it. He does have to show forward momentum. He said that he wants everyone to take a second look at him and his candidacy, and this is their, this is their second look opportunity. Well, the thing is, there's a businessman in Monterrey, Nuevo León, which is about two and a half hour drive from the Laredo, um, Nuevo Laredo border. He is a mechanic by trade, but he also, for about 30 years, he's been taking a group of diehard Dallas Cowboys fans from Monterrey up to Dallas to check out a game. What, um, what's interesting about the last couple years is that the highway from Monterrey to Nuevo, Nuevo Laredo has been pretty dangerous. Um, there are certain highways in northern Mexico where uh, migrants are getting pulled off buses and they're being forced to either work for a cartel or being robbed. So there's that underlying fear that all these folks had. Most of the passengers confessed that, yeah, they couldn't really relax until they got, to, they got to the U.S. side because of these highways. That said, even when they get to the border, they have to wait about three and a half, four hours at customs. But they all do it with a smile on their face because uh, they're just diehard Cowboys fans. It also includes a shopping trip. We go to a Grand Prairie to the flea market out there. We went to the mall in Arlington. The whole time, you, you know, you just get a bunch of folks that have either saved up for a few months to be able to take this trip. There were a lot of father and son groups, um, some girlfriends, boyfriends. Um, but everybody's just, you know, excited to take a, take a couple days of rest and, you know, not worry about the problems that are going on in Monterrey and go see a Cowboys game. You know whether the situation gets, gets better, whether it stays the same, I, I'm pretty sure that this guy's going to keep bringing these people up because uh, it's a really good business and these people have a lot of fun coming up to see the game. Mm -hmm. 